Master of Kujira Island is a role I honestly forgot about. Like, I, you know, Whale's Treasure shows up. I think it's, Whale's is fun, but it's kind of tedious. Like, it really just takes a while. There's so many battles, um, especially after you beat the, the Masters. It's like, you know, it's just a whole bunch of battling. But I was reminded of this wonderful role, Master of Kujira Island, which is obtained by beating three of the elemental bosses using four monsters that are not of that element. So like, for example, this one, I used the Water Pyramid Golem, I used Ninja Storm, I used Vine Gazer, and I used Arbor of Bratis, who are, obviously none of them are fire. And I am doing that for all of the element bosses. You only had to do three for the challenge, but I figured, you know, I made it this far, might as well do the rest of them. Uh, the only rules for this challenge were obviously, you know, which element you can use and which monsters you can use, but you couldn't use, you basically couldn't use Aura Dragon as soon as Aura Dragon incarnated something, it just counted as void. You couldn't use uh, like Possession Revenge or Death Revenge as soon as their revenge is activated, it was over, but you were allowed to use Mirror Revenge and that was it. You also like, you could use a friend monster if you only use three of your own monsters, but I just went with all three of mine, um, all four of mine, I mean. And I added one rule to myself for myself, and that was I can't use any duplicate monsters. So like these four monsters that I used, Vine Gazer, Arborbratus, the Water Pyramid Golem, and Ninja Storm, I can't use them for the rest of the battles. So that was just an extra little challenge I gave myself that I didn't really need to, <laughs> but I wanted to, you know? You guys know me, I like to break the game, I like to have fun, and this challenge was certainly fun. The fire one wasn't too bad, honestly. The biggest issue was figuring out how to navigate the front line because I needed, it, it was really tough with the Death Revenge. I was trying to use some stun stuff, but I needed somebody fast enough to get rid of uh, Nova Media. And eventually I was like, I can use Vine Gazers. And Vine Gazers combined with the Stun Revenge is kind of busted. So this one, not really one of the harder ones once I kind of figured out what I was doing. And that's that's the fire one down. That's one, we've got five more to go. Buckle up, this is gonna be a bit of a longer video, but it'll be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's just showing you guys the team. And moving on to the next one, Vincent of the Earth Battle. This one was also not one of the harder ones. Kind of the way I approached all of these is I went in once to just see what would happen, see the battle, remind myself of what the what the enemies are, seeing if I could make some sort of, you know, find out, get some ideas of what I could use against their front line, see what they were weak to. And then I would get an idea, try that idea, adjust that idea. It took a lot of like learning the AI. So since I know I'm going into the same team every time I had to be like, okay, so I go in, I skip, I know this monster is gonna use this move on this monster, um, et cetera, this kind of one, you know, I knew that Pyramid, uh, that Gaiamid was gonna use Dreambreaker on the Balanceon, and so I had to go in a couple times to like get lucky with the Sleep Revenge. Um, so like that took me a couple tries, but this one was relatively easy. Anko and Atrahasis is kind of a busted combo, and using Atrahasis, I was able to get the double sacralisk even though I just lost one there. But, you know, the earth one, not too bad. I find it interesting that some of these boss battles have monsters that aren't of the element in the battle, which is kind of weird. Uh, like, I think this one has like the fire pupa at the end and a couple, couple weird things like that. But, you know, I guess it makes the battles easier to do. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's just kind of using Sacralisk as a as a sweeper and Anka Dragon clones to just win the battle, basically. I wanted to make sure I didn't kill off either Sacralisk because I know, you know, with, with double Bloodthirst, they're gonna be really good at sweeping through the rest of the team. I see he still has like 10 monsters left. And, you know, I don't wanna risk it. So the Guardian Execute is gonna kill off the Anka Dragon. Doesn't kill off the Sacralisk though. I think I charged Bloodthirst on that first one he stun strikes me, which is great. I was checking to see if I had the double repulse, which I didn't. Um, and I actually haven't charged Bloodthirst on the first one yet. But we're getting there. Eternal Revenge is going to keep doing things. Now I can charge the Bloodthirst. 
having the having double two soccer um, lists whatever on the that, field, I think whatever made this a lot easier um, because I'm pretty sure set. I'm not 100 percent, but it seems like yeah, there's like double the chance that they put a monster to sleep, double the the standard chance. Because, you know, there's the chance of one of them doing it, but then the chance of the other one doing it. I'm not super good at statistics, but it's something like that. So that just kind of made this relatively easy. I had to check to see if Amalgamon had Poison All Revenge. I was pretty sure he did. Just wanted to make sure he did, which I knew was going to wake up some other people. But at this point, I'm chilling. I can take out the chain, chain horn. He's just got this Poison Moth. Like I said, Poison Moth left but that one wrapped up pretty easily not too hard of a battle beat it with four i kind of liked using balance on in the front like just as a as a sacrificial lamb i basically did this with three monsters but that opening shield and sleep was like really big holy this one i think i did on my second try like i went in i saw what the team was i was like okay i could use this this and this I like built the team, went in once, messed up some like turn order, and then came in and like beat it, which I wasn't totally planning on doing, but you know, I'm not complaining. There I lose my Wraith host. I The instant purify all was like kind of big brain to take the stealth off of all of them so that I could then do the death sentence. I got lucky with that sleep. And now I'm just basically Goo Dragon sleep sweeping, which is like what I love to do. I You guys know I love Goo Dragon. Um, I know any second now this death sentence is going to go off. Uh, so, you know, I have the, the Bloodthirst Charge. doesn't do much with the shields. But then I got that super lucky sleep, which just slept everybody except Phantom Maiden, who is sleep immune. I was pretty sure, or not pretty sure, I knew Phantom Maiden had Poison All Revenge. So even though I could have killed her with a Goo Dragon there, I decided against it. And now I'm kind of spooked. But keep in mind, Goo Dragon has double clones. He's pretty much three shotting each holy monster so you know basically i get a turn i clone next if i've already done that i create duplicate if i've already done that desperate shield and then we just go to town right so i think the smarter way to do this would have been to target the people with aoe's because you know aoe's are going to wipe out the whole team versus just a single person so like going for that valzerain there probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world it would have been better to go for maybe the grizzle guard who's going to ultra nova right now right but you know hindsight's 2020 didn't really matter in the end and here here's another example you know they've got the fluffurious they've got the voodoo like why do they have these death monsters in a holy team i don't know but this one I think was the easiest, just sort of because it didn't take me very many tries and it just kind of, I just won the battle. It was a little unfortunate that I wasted Wraith Host and Goo Dragon in this one because those are two really strong monsters for this challenge specifically. Uh, Goo Dragon obviously being as good as he is and uh, did I say Wraith Host? I meant Wraith Captain. Wraith Captain having the, the clone in the sleep but, you know, we did it. Now, speaking of sleep, this was my team for the shadow battle. And you'll see, <laughs> I, <laughs> so I went in with this team and I thought it was super smart and it was super intricate. And I kept trying and trying and trying because every time I went in, I had to do this one-on-one -on -one and I needed the one-on-one -on -one to sleep all three monsters that aren't Anixia for the strategy to work. And so I went in and I tried so many times I, I you may not believe me every single one of these little little cuts is a different try and I would just like I would go in I would one-on-one -on -one, and then I would run and I would go back in and I would one-on-one -on -one. and I swear like you would think it would be a one in four chance it was never it never felt like a one in four chance I swear I got it like here that time was my first time in like I think it was like 30 minutes of just that's probably an exaggeration probably five but still, it just took me so long. And then I would just lose, right? Because for like every try that I needed to see like how the strategy would work and remind myself what the team was and see how I would, would make it happen, for every try there was like five minutes of just one-on-one -on -one failing. Uh, and it, it was just so frustrating and so annoying and so bothersome because then I would get a good one-on-one, -on -one, I would get a good, the, the cycle that I needed, and then I would just lose. So this one I definitely think 
took me the longest it just just solely because of this and also like the video editing of doing all this was super annoying there i got another one so i'm like okay great that was only like three tries in and then i lost again so it took me a while you see i kept changing out the one-on-one -on -one monster i kept changing out angel lion for like heavens heavens maiden is that her name the the second form of brindledeer and i was just trying 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 <clears throat> just could not get it i i went to bed that night woke up the next morning decided to switch up the strategy i really 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 wanted to make tazelo pico work because i think he's so cool and i was using his sleep bomb to like put everybody to sleep except onyxia because i'm getting an onyxia clone and onyxia obviously is sleep immune but it just wasn't working so i had to i had to switch up the strategy a little bit i also thought it was so cool using zeus worm and roar I, I just think roar is such a cool move and i wish it was more viable in pvp because i would use it but it's just, it's just hard to pull off because you basically need him in the front line and you're never going to get a stun bomb curse pulled off i did the vile rage on angel lion to make sure that he killed skeleviathan i labbed this out so many times i knew that i needed angel lion to kill skeleviathan because if anybody else killed him it didn't work and now this was I think my first run with the Crimsaeus, <clears throat> it might have been like, you know, I went in, did a couple trying to get the one-on-one -on -one to hit right, because at, at a certain point, I just stopped recording, because I was like, I'm never going to get this one-on-one, -on -one. but I finally got it, went in with the Crimsaeus, got this Nova Drake clone, and I was basically, with the old strategy, I was basically soloing the whole battle with Onyxia, but then you get to the end and there's a Tortegeist who summons the who summons his baby. And so I like the only way I could get by that was if I'd like dreaded wave four times. But then by then the Tortegeist has Drain Survivor, which just kills Onyxia. Because if I killed the baby, then it would summon another Onyxia who would kill mine because I didn't have this any way to purify. Also, Brynhildir was super annoying because Ragnarok just kills. And so there was just so much that went into this battle that you'll never see because you'll see this version where I won because they had a Nixia and an Overdrake. <laughs> so once I got the new strategy down using Crimsaeus, which by new strategy, I mean once I put Crimsaeus into my team, this one was pretty easy. Also, Revenar Keon was really hard to take care of when I was just soloing because you would have to come and you would have to take off the shield and you would have to kill him, which is like, how much? how many seconds is that? Like 160? And you you just can't afford that. Uh, with the bear, uh, this this was super hard because you needed to like you couldn't poison the Zulong, so you had to kill him. But the Tenebris came in with the entrance, so if Zulong got a turn, it was over. There were a lot of moments like that where it's like if this monster gets a turn, you lose. If this monster gets a turn, you lose. But you need to kill like these three monsters before they get turns. It was really hard. Glad I finally put the Nova Drake into my team. We did it. I think Shadow was the hardest up to this point, but we made it work. Once I once I fixed my strategy, I really wanted to use Tazelo Pika. I really, really did, but I just couldn't make it work, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. I think I might like try him in PvP soon because I plus nine him just for this <laughs> and just ended up not using him. There's the team for, for the Shadow. And now we get into Storm. I think Storm was the hardest until... I guess a lot of these were hard until I like realized it. So this one was hard because I, there was a lot of RNG based on like what move would the Chromera use when he came in. Sometimes he would Swift Accelerate Team like that. Sometimes he would Chrono Killer, which put the Missile Torment to hold ground. Sometimes Tyregor's Fast Strike would get would not get blocked by Missile Torment. And he would kill my Jacqueline. Sometimes Electric Cheetah would come in and he would Time Strike my Stun Revenge clone and there was just nothing I could do. So there was a whole lot of things I could never like plan on with this because I was trying to do basically the same thing I did with the fire thing. But then I discovered squash does so much damage, like an unbelievable amount of damage, like easily one-shotting these super buffed storm monsters. And so I was like, I don't need to necessarily like vine gazer stall this team. I can just sweep through it with Jacqueline which was a crazy realization, but a realization that made this so much easier. <laughs> so there, Risky healed all to make sure the Senegar didn't kill, didn't get killed by the Vine Eyes, because that happened a couple times too. 
I was really worried about what Air Raider was gonna do and super lucky that the Electric Cheetah didn't do an Ultra Thunder because that would have destroyed me. And also super lucky that the Leo Geist did the Inspire there because if I had lost the Senny Guards, it would have been over. Because even though the plan is to just like sweep rather than like Vine Gazer stall like I did with the fire team, I still like need the stun control. And by losing that, you know, that made it a lot harder. So there, I knew that the Zephyrin, since his single stun revenge, it wouldn't hit Jacqueline because she's stun immune. I went for that. And now we're basically home free. There was some, what's at the end of this one? This one has, at the end, there's two Penguinators in a row. And I knew about that. That like always gets me in the normal year when I'm just like doing it with my normal storm team. I always forget about that because he'll come in and he'll wreck you. So I needed to make sure I had a plan for that. But otherwise, I could just I could just chill. Like Squash is going to kill whoever comes in. I sped it up a little here because I wanted to get a little bit more control. And I needed to bring in that next stunner guy. But I, again, didn't want him to get killed by the Vine Eye. So I needed to make sure that he got a turn so he could duplicate first. I also tried this one when I was still trying to go for like the stun lock Vine, Vine Eye thing. I was using Sanctalion for a little bit because of the, the shield revenge also with the stun. But what I discovered with Sanctalion is he doesn't have, or er, Sanctalion is too slow. So like the Vine Eyes would, would kill Sanctalion before they could clone again, which was just really bad. Um, here I was lucky that I had, I just made sure I had monsters ready with the Germinates so that I could poison eater with the Vine Eye once I squashed the Penguinator to kill him off. And it was, it was smooth sailing from here. I had a germinate ready for the Tyragore. I could just Ultra Quake. It was over. Jacqueline, crazy strong. Might, this honestly has inspired me to maybe put her in like an ultimate challenge team. Cause I've actually learned a lot <laughs> about using Vine Gazer over this challenge. There's the team, still no duplicates yet. And finally going into the water one. But yeah, Jacqueline, crazy good for this. Now, this water one, I think was the easiest because there's a lot of storm monsters in it for some reason. And once you get rid of the, I was using like kind of a similar thing with a twin knockback at the start to just get rid of Razor Ray and Aurelius so that I could stun them. But then I was like, you know, there's something else I could do with this. So I just went in raw with my Nova Drake and I was like, let's see what I can do. I used Regalian for the seal because Razor Ray obviously couldn't be stunned and he would just laser blast somebody using XYZ for the stuns on entrances, using Heaven's Worm to heal up Nova Drake and really anybody else when I needed it. The biggest problem I had with this one was people kept killing my Heaven's Worm. So the, the, the run that you're watching right now was me going in like, okay, no matter what, I'm gonna make sure Heaven's Worm survives. And that's what I did. I, I kept also killing the Dolphries too soon. I realized I needed him to stay alive so that he would summon the Diamondoids, but sometimes he would like kill my Heaven's Worm too early, but it really wasn't a huge deal. And the Regalian, obviously the Swift Accelerate team was super nice. There was some point where I was like trying to line it up so I could instant knock back next to the Blue Maluga because the Blue Maluga would absorb the stun as they're entering. But then I realized I really didn't need to because once I got Nova Drake accelerated and charged, like the, I don't remember how much ion field is. I think it's 30 seconds. Um, how, I don't remember exactly how much he stuns on entrance, but like it was enough that I could just kill the next person. I did use the knockback next on the, what's his name, Centurion, because I was super worried about the Albacon because poison touch would ruin me. But luckily he did the stealth bane on the Heaven's Worm. At this point, I knew I was far enough in the battle that it didn't matter that I didn't have Heaven's Worm because I think Nova Drake still has from the brink. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. There at the end, I got super lucky with those three sleep entrances. If any of them had hit Nova Drake, I think this battle would have gone differently. So that was super lucky. But okay, no, I didn't have from the brink, but I knew it's just a storm monster in the water buff team. So he's not gonna be able to kill me. And that was the challenge. Thus concludes E.T. Dubs' run of the Master of Kujira Island. This was super fun. I think it's the hardest challenge I've done. It took me a lot of time, a lot of tries, a lot of trial and error. But at the end of the day, I'm super proud of myself for doing it. 
I'm glad I like stuck with my own rule of not using duplicates. That was a fun little challenge that I just put on myself that I really enjoyed. And obviously hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. This is the final team, super fun challenge, and I will see you all in the next video.